Watercasters, get ready. The high tide is here, and we've got a tsunami of brand new Elestrals to showcase today. Let's dive in. I hope you guys have been enjoying our 32 days of Moonrise reveals. We count down until November 15th when those pre-orders open. Big shout out to everybody who's been showing love to our Lestrals Clash Kickstarter campaign, of course. And don't forget those backers, you guys get early access to these reveals. So make sure you guys back us on Kickstarter. But let's talk about some brand new water Lestrals. Starting things off with a familiar face, Oystrous. That's right, Oystrous, previously a starter deck exclusive card, Oystrous comes back in Moonrise with one attack and three defense, and the same effect we all know and love. It gets plus one defense for each enchanting water spirit on the field, allowing it to buff itself up to four defense naturally, and when paired with cards like Poseidon, Atlantis, and otherwise, you can actually get this thing to be pretty incredibly defensive. Oystrous is a very, very good defensive wall, but you might be like, hey, Drav, why is Oystrous in Moonrise? Well, it's because it has an awesome ascension, of course. Oystrous ascends into one of my favorite designs of all time, Oystillery. Oystillery is a four attacker with eight defense, two cost water that has a super cool effect that allows you to special ascend from your Oystress if you disenchant a water spirit from your field. So if Oystillery is in your hand and Oystress is on the field, you can simply special cast out your Oystillery by tossing away a spirit on your Poseidon or something else. But the real power with this card comes from its second effect. You can discard a water card in order to target and destroy a card. Simply put, you can throw away a water card in your hand, whether it's a rune, an elestral, anything, and you can target target and shut something down on the field. This powerful defensive tank is ready to blow your opponent's field to smithereens and I look for Oystillery to make a big, big smash in Moonrise. Now, when I designed Moonrise, I got really creative with some different ideas. I got to explore the titles like you saw with Lunar Phases and I got to go into some different design space. And one of those design spaces that I was really excited to explore was this next card and that is Starbit. Starbit is absolutely adorable, man. He's a little star superhero dude with a cool cape on and he's rocking one attack and one defense and a one cost water with a really sweet effect. This star bit gets plus two attack for each water enchanting it. So it immediately starts as a three attacker when it's enchanted with water. You can nexus up to two water spirit. When this star bit has seven or more attack during your main phase, you must either destroy it or special ascend it to star bit supernova from your hand or deck. What does this mean? This means that star bit is immediately a three attacker because of its effect. You can nexus up to two water spirits. So you can nexus from Poseidon onto star bit to give it three spirits total. And that immediately allows him to hit that seven attack threshold that you're looking to hit, but otherwise you can utilize cards like Necklace of Harmonia or Atlantis or other mechanics to get its attack set up to seven. And much like Cryoling into Cryovern, you have to special ascend it into Starbit Supernova once you hit that seven attack stat. So what is Starbit Supernova? An epic one cost water Elestral that I'm so stoked about. Starbit Supernova hits the field with seven attack and two defense out of a one cost, a highest one cost attack stat we've ever done. But it has a caveat. This Starbit cannot be normal cast which means the only way to get your Starbit Supernova to the field is by special casting it, whether it be through Starbit's effect or maybe through another card like Rise from the Ashes or Rise from the Depths. When you special cast this Starbit with another Starbit's effect, it gains the effect if this Starbit would be destroyed. First, you may Nexus all spirits from it. If you do, draw a card, then it's destroyed. What does that mean? That means that if this Starbit Supernova hits the field from your Starbit's effect, meaning it's coming to the field, generally speaking, with four spirits on it, one from Starbit, two from the Nexus to get it to seven attack, and one additional spirit once it special ascends, you have a four spirit Starbit Supernova hitting the field with seven attack. This is stating that if this Starbit gets destroyed, holding all those spirits, you actually get to move those spirits to another card on your field, then draw a card, and then your Supernova is destroyed, which means you don't end up losing out on that massive spirit investment that you're putting into Starbit because they get Nexus to the rest of your field, so you can conserve those spirits to use for later. This is a really interesting card and a really interesting design space that I'm super excited to explore. Like I mentioned before, Starbit taking on a new form, it's supernova form with an incredibly powerful effect when it special ascends that way. Otherwise, feel free to explore this card with cards like Rise from the Depths and Rise from the Ashes to special cast out to the field as a normal seven attacker. But I think using it with Starbit is gonna be your best bet. Starbit's one of my favorite Elestrals coming in Moonrise, which is why it's also getting a brand new stellar variant, Stellar Starbit. This card artwork is so beautiful and it's a stellar you do not wanna miss out on when Moonrise drops. This is one I gotta get me three copies of and there's only gonna be 99 ever made. Watercasters, I hope you're feeling good because you're definitely eating good in Moonrise. Oystrous, Oystillery, Starbit, and Starbit Supernova looking to make a massive splash in Moonrise. Stay tuned for tomorrow's reveal as I'm breaking down new reveals every single day. And don't forget to back our Kickstarter, Alestral's Clash, live right now on Kickstarter. Check the description below and you get these reveals a day early. I'll see y'all tomorrow.